Hey everyone, my name is the Theme Park Evangelist. I'm here with Katie. We are at Kings Island for the very final day of uh, Tricks and Treats, but this is also our very first day, so how did that work out? Uh, we are already at our uh, very first Trick or Treat Trail uh, for the day. It started at 11 a.m. It is currently 1.20 p.m. Uh, today also is daily savings times. So that means by six o'clock it will be pitch black out already and it already gets dark out around here already especially in grant county where i live grant county kentucky so uh we already happen to be out here if you actually watch my most recent vlog uh katie and i uh checked out our very first hilton uh together um i uh just started working for hilton two months ago yesterday and uh we decided since we are already out here for a bridal show, to just go ahead and go check it out. So we spent the night and uh, found out that my um, employee uh, discount actually uh, was a lot more powerful than I thought it was. Not only does it apply to the treat shop at every single Hilton out there, which I'm not gonna go into uh, for uh, my own job security, but it also applies to every single uh, Hilton that has a restaurant as well so I can't use it uh, on alcohol or anything but as long as it's food related then yes I can but I once again I'm not going to share uh, what that discount is good for the only thing I will tell you guys is uh, just so you guys can do your own research basically my Hilton discount works just like uh, a Hilton gold or diamond member uh, discount Yes, I can. Wow. What do we got here? We got... Takis. Wow, Takis. I'm I trying to help her out. Them. Oh, that's okay. I'll eat them. They're spicy. But, um... So, if I... If Katie, for an example, were a uh, Hilton Gold or Diamond member, which she's not, she's the future wife of a uh, Hilton team member, then that means that she would have the same benefits as um, I have, which is uh, kind of nice. So, anyway, that's the best way to put it without saying too much. Because if uh, Hilton were to look up my um, YouTube channel and uh, here I was giving away too much information, I could lose my job. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this final day of uh, Tricks and Treats. Unfortunately, due to yesterday being an insane day in the laundry room, uh, sadly uh, enough at this time of the year, it's starting to really slow down my hotel. But that also gives us the uh, benefit of uh, getting deep cleaning done, but that's also more work. So basically, I personally did about 50 loads of laundry alone yesterday, and I was going as fast as I possibly could just to keep up. Watch out behind you. Watch out behind you. So, yeah. Um, and on top of that, it was just such a crazy day yesterday. So, by the time I um, got out to Katie last night, I was pretty worn out. I'm actually not wearing my normal sunglasses right now. Um, somehow my original got re misplaced in my parents' condo and they have no clue where it went. I have no clue where they went. So I went and bought myself another pair, but they're a little loose. Yeah, sure, why not? So we're gonna go on our first ride together and uh, we'll be uh, YouTubing as uh, the afternoon goes on. And then we'll eventually leave here, go to Kenwood. That will run into Jonathan because he usually works in the movie theater in the, on the weekends and the evenings. And we're gonna go to the Cheesecake Factory and go get uh, my free slice of cheesecake because it's my birthday month. The next Monday is actually my 31st birthday. So here's something new this year. They uh, had the same exact uh, tricks and treats uh, setups as last year. They had the same exact costumes, hanging on the same exact things. Like Katie just got a mini pumpkin. But the biggest difference is they have adults who actually care about doing this versus last year half of the people that were doing it were i mean everybody was pretty much kids or young adults 
And um, half of them. I got you a laughing taffy. Oh, thank you. And uh, half of them didn't even care about the job. All the pumpkins. So yeah, that was you know pretty discouraging, but that explains why Danny is only doing Halloween hot, or was only doing Halloween hot. Last night was the last night. But like I mentioned earlier, I had really contemplated coming, but when you have a really long day in the laundry room at your hotel and you've been up since 6.30 in the morning and you didn't even check into your hotel until like 8 o'clock at night, it's probably a good idea to just go home and go to bed. Or, well, not go home, but go to your go to bed. Now, we are going back home tonight. All right, we got another one, if you want it. This one actually does have some younger people in it. That's cool. Yeah. Katie's already doing a lot better this year. Well, I mean, I don't know how well you would think of doing well when it comes to I can't eat anything I just, I've already got. Well, I mean, like as in getting stuff. I mean, this bag is already getting pretty heavy here. I actually have to do a workout. Oh, yeah, that is true. There is a pumpkin in there. It doesn't fit me. I could see uh, you scaring Ellie with that. So where to next? See what doesn't have a weight. Oh look, there's another one up ahead. I see my little card. So if you guys didn't catch it, I'm a Hufflepuff and she's a Gryffindor for uh, Halloween this year. But we're thinking about doing the Big Bad Wolf and Little Red, Red Riding Hood next year. That's another reason why I didn't think there's a reason for me to go trick-or-treating. I figured we could just share it. Well, as of right now, you're getting everything. Except for the pumpkin. The pumpkin's mine. So that girl in that dress I was looking at earlier, that's a little red riding hood? Yeah. I see. Oh, there's another one. Isn't that Alana? It is Alana. No way. Hey, at least we get to see Alana. For Day of the Dead. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to say that. All right, I gotta get this on YouTube. Yes. Can you guys repeat after me? Yes. Feliz. Dia. Dia. Day. Day. Los. Los. Muertos. Muertos. Feliz Day. I got Feliz Dia. Feliz Dia. Dia. De, de, uh, Mortis. All right, I gotta get a hug from Alana really quick. All right, off to the next location. Oh, Smarties! I love Smarties. Well, they're definitely yours because I, I don't like them. So when I first saw Alana over at that location a few years ago, she had Danny with her, but Danny's not doing it this year, like I said. Also, be praying for Danny. David! What? It's Santa! Santa. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Check it out, everybody. Santa's on the surf dog. Look closely. Yep, there he is. No way. I got it all on film. I'm done. <laughs> it is Sunday, November 3rd, after all. 
and we're at Kings Island on Sunday, November 3rd, doing trick-or-treating. Yeah, he's got to be. Anyways, we were. But, yeah. Yeah, be praying for Danny, um, everybody. Um, she's got a fever of 102. And she's fighting a flu right now. So, just be praying for her to get better. Look, I wouldn't row that. I waited a good 30 to 40 minutes, but it was worth it. What? This one? Yep, that was, that's a new one. That, that was the one those YouTubers had um, booked out for the day. Yeah, I don't do backwards either. I mean, I, I will. I'll put up with it on Expedition Everest and Animal Kingdom, but even then, I can only handle it the one time. All right, let's go ahead and stop filming for now. So while Katie's going to use the restroom, I'm actually sitting here waiting for Danny's uh, fiance, Daniel, to uh, come and uh, join Katie and I for a little bit. Uh, but um, I did want to let you guys know that my phone is unfortunately dying because I never did fully charge it because um, I charged it technically last night at the hotel but I decided to just keep it unplugged. And then um, it started draining on battery and I did a partial charge on my way here, but it wasn't enough. And then of course doing vlogging has been draining the battery considerably. So if I don't get to finish my vlog here, I do apologize in advance. But in, in the meantime, I am glad that I did get at least as much vlogging as I could. I'm actually impressed today by the weather. It's been about low 70s, and there's been a nice calm breeze. It's actually felt pretty good today. Um, you now, as far as that bridal show we went to um, at the uh, hotel, which I mentioned in the other vlog, um, there were definitely some nice venues there. Um, there really was nothing that was, you know, worth our while. Now, there is another one coming to. Uh, Newport Aquarium uh, that we are paying $15 per person. I'm doing this for Katie so I already paid for it. Um, I'm going, Katie's going, Danny's going, Daniel's going and uh, Lord willing, Ayla's going so I feel like that will be the uh, much better of the um, bridal shows that Katie has personally been to but I've only done one so far and I'm about to do a second one here soon. Um, I didn't mention this earlier but I am actually going to be staying at a different Hilton when I come back here again not for Winterfest but for um, New Year's Eve and uh, I'm still waiting to see when tickets go on sale for the uh, New Year's Eve uh, celebration up in the International Restaurant so I gotta keep checking back on that just to see when they go on sale because I really want to do that uh, depending on how much tickets are and um, also I should note that um, since we're going to be out here so late at night I just said to Katie well why don't we go ahead and spend the night out here and go do some sightseeing around uh, Columbus or Cincinnati so originally I had it set for the Hilton we were just at but I decided to go ahead and switch it to another Hilton literally within walking distance of the one we were staying at. Now I'm not going to tell you guys which Hilton we're going to be staying at because that's a surprise. But uh, here's the plus. Uh, every single Hilton that we're going to be staying at from this point forward does have a free continental breakfast except for one. Um, yeah, except for one. And that's a double tree in Larsburg, Indiana. And that's of course the same exact exact night that we're going to be uh, going out here coming out towards uh, northern Kentucky well I'm going to be joining Katie anyway in our northern Kentucky for the lunar eclipse so uh, make sure you do check out my YouTube channel tomorrow 
Uh, tomorrow I do go back to doing uh, History of the Theme Park Evangelist. And then Wednesday I'm doing more of my college days. Both YouTube series are almost over, so I'm getting ready to start a brand new YouTube series. As of right now, I'm planning on just doing one, and it's going to be on Mondays. And it's going to be about how you can stay faithful to God even during difficult times. So just be watching that. All right. Well, Lord willing, I'll be able to do another clip or two. I'll get, try to get Daniel on there, but uh, just keep in mind my phone is getting low on battery. So we're uh, doing a uh, tour of the um, Cavern of Terror during the daytime, which is so cool. Wow. My phone's getting low, too. Anyways, if we look up... Oh, okay. You guys see the lights flickering, right? Yup, yup, they're definitely flickering. So I think the spirits are influencing the electrical system, or there's a giant rat showing on the wires like it's a tool. Who knows? Who knows? Let's keep walking. Oh, keep your hands to yourself, by the way. And look who it is. It's Daniel! <laughs> and he's friends with, uh, what's his name again? From Winterfest. Anyway. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on, Gary. Oh, how are you? Can't go to that. You know what? Do whatever you want. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, because I'm an unpaid intern. I rely heavily on uh, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. So if you want to tip me afterwards, I really appreciate that. You know, I have Venmo. I like the name of my favorite store. Over here we go. Thank you guys so much. I hope we can get to the museum. Now, why did you guys say the museum? Why did you say my job? There we go. Right over here we got Cory the Clown. Hi, Cory the Clown. Hi, Cory the Clown. Cory's creeping you out. Well, Cory's one of my favorites because of his hat, but also, uh, you guys hear that fake fair music playing? You can hear it, right? Yeah, um, I didn't program fair music playing your Cory. I programmed free-form jazz to play your Cory. So, I don't know where that fair music is coming from. That's really good. That's cool. Um, we're going to the museum. Uh, not very creative people. Well, here we got Sylvester the Skeleton. Can everyone say hi to Sylvester the Skeleton? Hi, uh, Sylvester, Sylvester the, skeleton. the Skeleton. Notice he has no legs, but despite not having legs, he never skips leg day at the gym. Wow, emotional, wow, how does he do it? Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's keep walking. <laughs> That's disturbing. You know who Jack the Ripper is? Oh, my. Okay, well, I'm not going Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper? No one knows. Ooh, that's dark in there. Well, I personally like to believe is the real Jack the Ripper. The real Jack the Ripper is the Jack the Ripper inside each and every one of us. What does that mean? Oh, um, oh, I, I get it. Means I haven't seen my therapist as much as I need to. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. How long? Too long. <laughs> Behind me is a wheel. Oh, oh no, definite destruction. I wasn't gonna say wheel. Guys, don't mind that dust here. We're just doing renovations. We hope you have more stuff on this place. Guys, goes on. You guys can keep walking, please. Light. No problem. We have to have oh, okay, yeah, Like light. I said, we rely heavily on donations. So if you would like to donate, and if you would like there would like to donate to the museum, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I think they um, need the donations. All right, guys. We are on our way out. At as you see, we still have Daniel with us. We're uh, all uh, heading off to do our own thing. Daniel and Danny are coming back here. They got a uh, employee appreciation meal tonight uh, for uh, entertainment. Yeah. Um, not saying where it's gonna be at, but it's gonna be somewhere in Mason, Ohio. And that's all you need to know. Um, Katie and I are gonna head off to Kenwood Tent Center and go get our free cheesecake, my free cheesecake. So, uh, next time you guys see Daniel, probably will be um, at uh, Kings Island. I will see him before that. And Daniel is friends with, uh, what was that again? I just said it, Peppermint Jack. So, uh, you never know. You might see uh, Gumball Jack, Gumdrop Jack. Gumdrop Jack. Yeah, Gumdrop Jack before you see Daniel. But no promises or anything. Sometimes I heard that. 
Daniel and Gumdrop Jack look almost identical, so I wonder why. Some people say we're twins. I've heard that too. So we will see you guys in the next vlog. Oh, by the way, make sure you look out for Christmas Carol. I heard she and uh, Danny are twins too, but always remember, you can do all things through Christ's strength as you. Have a great night. Peace out.